the canister health checkpoint route pahang malaya 1960 excuse me sir could you step aside please says the security officer to chu who me chu replies in return seeking affirmation that the officer was indeed referring to him the officer nods with a warm smile i didn't do anything wrong what's this all about he thinks to himself slightly panicky not because he actually did anything wrong it's just that he's the type that always gets very uncomfortable in such situations chu conforms and steps aside out of the long queue as he passes a reluctant smile towards the security officer and his colleague please follow us sir says the second officer the three of them walk calmly towards a nearby room with chu sandwich in between the two officers no handcuffs no physical contact nothing doesn't seem like they are apprehending me that's a good sign isn't it they probably just want to know what a singaporean guy is doing this far up north perhaps chu thinks to himself is anything up sir chu nervously asks the officer in front of him as they continue their steady pace towards the room which is about 5 more steps away nothing that we can confirm yet which is why we are very thankful for your cooperation in helping us verify great an answer doesn't help what is going on here what did i do chu thinks to himself now breaking a cold sweat which is starting to become visible from his forehead the double doors to the room swing open as the trio are greeted by two individuals in yellow hazmat suits all yours says the second security officer to the fellows in yellow tilting his head in the direction of chu pointing him out you boys didn't touch him did you says one of the suited up men his voice muffled from the reflective mask covering his face nope protocols fully adhered to affirmative thanks says the other man as he reaches his hand out to chu this way sir he says as he gently grabs chu's left arm and proceeds into the room okay this whole scenario is freaking me out what's going on here chu finally lets his boss speak what his mind is thinking while lightly tugging his arm back in resistance to being grabbed as they approach and start walking down a long corridor you're from johor yes asked the other sutra man yes singapore district to be precise what does this have to do with anything chu snaps back as he starts to show signs of stress seems like many of you people coincidentally happen to have certain health issues as of late and we just want to confirm whether you do or don't excuse me chu snaps back angrily what do you mean by you people i'm as malay as you are okay this is 1960 asia not the european dark ages you could at least have some manners and treat others with some dignity please both yellow fellows remain silent as the trio arrive and stop at a large gantry where chu is being told to stand under remain here on this raised platform and try not to move for your own good says one of the men chu now with a clearly annoyed look on his face complies as he rolls his eyes in response please where's your please chu thinks to himself the gantry structure is fully kitted out with many different types of light based sensors and starts to hum as it is activated from a control panel to its side chu raises his arm to cover his eyes as the machine starts flashing strobes of light in his direction hands down please sir chu hears coming from a voice that he can't pinpoint there's too much going on that he can't see clearly from all the flashing and strobing lights that are now break dancing all over his body a tingling sensation is felt all over chu's body no pain or discomfort just a strange tingling feeling total silence the strobing stops just as chu is about to adjust to the sudden change in environment and surrounding a loud alarm goes off shocked Chu musters his strength as his reflexes tell him it's time to fight or for flight but in a split second before he could literally do anything a large cylindrical glass encasement rises from the floor from where he stands and envelops him from all directions hoy chu screams out from the top of his lungs fists pounding against the tempered and shock resistant glass while a thick metal enclosure swiftly descends from the ceiling to seal him in the canister his voice now totally inaudible 
as he continues to frantically pound on the glass walls. Screaming inaudibly, swirls of white smoke begin to make way into the canister through its ceiling. In a matter of seconds, Chu is totally immobilized, seemingly frozen where he stands, arms raised in pounding position, with his eyes and mouth wide open, expressing a mixed feeling of fear, anger, confusion and shock all rolled into one. I'm very sorry, sir. I truly am. This is what's best for you. For now. One of the suited up men utters softly. And probably the entire human race, whispers the other. 